Hello everyone, welcome back. So now we'll start a new video series lectures on analog communication. So if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. So first of all, what is communication? So communication is the process of transfer of information So it is the process of transfer of information from one place to another place. So generally we will call this one place to another place is from transmitter to receiver or from source to destination. So generally Communication is the process of transfer of information from one place to another place or from transmitter to the receiver or from source to the destination. So generally based on the transfer of information from transmitter to the receiver, communication is classified into three types. The first type is simplex communication. So second is half duplex and the third is full duplex. So simplex in simplex communication there is transfer of information from transmitter to the receiver only. So from transmitter to the receiver will have the communication but there is no feedback or reply from the receiver end to the transmitter end. So such type of communication is called as simplex communication. For example, the radio and TV broadcasting comes under the category of simplex communication. So we'll just receive the signals from uh, radio or TV broadcasting and we don't reply it to the, we didn't reply anything to the stations which are transmitting those signals. So such type of communication where there is only transfer of information from transmitter to the receiver is called as simplex communication. Next is half duplex communication. So in half duplex communication, so there is transfer of information from transmitter to the receiver and there is also transmission of signals from receiver to the transmitter but not at the same time so not at same time so they are not going to reply simultaneously so for example walkie talkie so first we'll receive the information from transmitter to the receiver and then we can send the information from the receiver to the transmitter so they will not simultaneously have the transmission but there is transmission from both ends. In full duplex type of communication, there is transmit there is signal transmission from transmitter to the receiver, and also there is transmission from receiver to the transmission transmitter simultaneously. So simultaneous transmission of message from transmitter to the receiver or from receiver to the transmitter occurs in the case of full duplex communication. So, so example for that type of full duplex communication is mobile communication. So in mobile communication we can have a simultaneous transmission of message from transmitter to the receiver or from receiver to the transmitter. Such type of communication is called as full duplex communication. So after understanding <coughs> what is communication, so we'll see now the elements of communication system. So elements of communication system. So the three basic elements of communication system are first is transmitter, number two, channel 
and number three receiver so the three basic elements of any communication system are transmitter channel and the receiver transmitter is the uh, part of communication system which transmits the information which transmits the information channel is the part of communication system where the message signal will travel from transmitter to the receiver and receiver is the part of communication system where it receives the uh, message signal and gives it to the destination that means to the user or to the loudspeaker in the case of mic system or any destination where you are going to have the uh, at the receiver end okay so this is a, these are the three basic blocks of any communication system so generally the communication system uh, have some more blocks which are very which are helpful for transmission of signals from one place to another place so first is input transducer next is modulator next is amplifier next is demodulator audio amplifier next is to power amplifier and the next is destination So the input signal here is the message signal. Generally, we will represent it as M of T. So what is this input transducer is? So input transducer, the message signal here, the message signal here may be, may or may not be electrical in nature. So it may or may not be electrical in nature. So input transducer is the uh, block which converts this non-electrical form of message signal into electrical form so in my uh, in my communication system generally voice signal voice signal is the input so voice is non-electrical form of the signal so this non-electrical form of voice signal is converted into electrical form by using this input transducer so input transducer converts non electrical form of message signal into electrical form because all the uh, communication system uh, or the electronic circuits works on this electrical signals only so first of all we have to convert non electrical form of message signal into electrical form so input transducer will do that operation and since the electrical form of the signal which is generated is of very low frequency signal the input so the signal which is generated that is the message signal which is generated into electrical form is of very low frequency signal so if you transmit this low frequency signal directly then it there are two disadvantages one is it cannot travel long distances so if you transmit this it cannot travel long distances and number two this low frequency signal can be can cause data loss so transmission of this low frequency signal can cause data loss that is any other receiver which is not the intended receiver can receive that signal because it is of very low frequency signal any small receiver circuit can receive that low frequency signal so these are the two 
disadvantages which we have if we transmit the low frequency signal directly. So this low frequency signal is converted into a high frequency signal. So this low frequency signal is converted into a high frequency signal by the process of modulation. So by the process of modulation a weak message signal is now converted into a high frequency signal uh, by using the process of modulation. Uh, so for performing that we are using a high frequency signal which is called as carrier signal. So this signal is called as carrier signal and is used to convert this low frequency message signal into a high frequency signal. So this output of this modulated modulator is called as modulated signal. So the high frequency signal which is produced after the process of modulation is called as modulated signal. So now this modulated signal which is a high frequency signal is transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver through channel. So through this channel it is going to be transmitted from transmitter to the receiver. So if uh, you are cha if the communication system is of wireless communication we will use this antennas in order to transmit and receive. So one antenna at the transmitting end and other antenna at the receiving end. And if your communication system is a wireless wired communication then there is a physical contact between transmitter end and the receiver end by using this wired communication. So uh, generally the channel is the medium through which the signal will, tra will travel from transmitter to the receiver end. Okay. So at the receiver end the first stage will be amplifier. So the first stage will be amplifier because the signal has traveled long distance from transmitter to the receiver end and there will be an, a loss in the amplitude of the signal. So due, due to different uh, sources of noise, due to different sources of noise there will be decrease in the amplitude of the signal. So amplifier will be the first stage of this receiver circuit. So amplifier will amplify the uh, decreased amplitudes of the received signal and then it is process, it is given to demodulator. So demodulation is the reverse process of modulation. So in modulation we are going to add the carrier, we are going to add this carrier signal in order to make the message signal a high frequency signal in demodulation end we are going to remove that carrier which is added to the modulated signal and then so output of demodulated circuit will be the original message signal will be the original message signal so uh, this original message signal is passed through the audio amplifier and power amplifier which restores the power uh, in, in the um, message signal and then it is con it is given to the output transducer so this output uh, because we need the message signal to be in the original form not in the electrical form so this is given to the output transducer so the output transducer so there will be another stage which is called as output transducer so this output transducer, the output of this output transducer is given to the destination where we are intended to give the message signal. So these are the total building blocks of any communication system. So just as a revision, I will tell you once again. So message signal here, the original message signal may or may not be electrical in nature. So input transducer converts this message signal into electrical form. So the electrical form of message signal is a low frequency signal. So if you transmit that low frequency signal directly it cannot travel long distances and data loss may occur. So due to these two disadvantages we are converting the weak message or weak frequency signal into high frequency signal by a process called as modulation. 
सो मॉड्यूलेटर इज द सर्क्यूट विच परफॉर्म द प्रोसेस ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन सो द आउटपुट ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन इज कॉल्ड एज मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल हियर सो दिस मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल इज पास फ्रॉम ट्रांसमीटर टू द रिसीवर एंड बाई अ चैनल बाई द मीडियम विच इज कॉल्ड एज चैनल सो द आउटपुट ऑफ द आफ्टर रिसीविंग द सिग्नल बाई द रिसीवर द फर्स्ट स्टेज विल बी एम्पलीफायर बिकॉज द सिग्नल हैव ट्रेवल लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेस एंड देर इज डिस्टॉर्शन इन द एम्पलीट्यूड so to restore that amplitudes we are going to amplify first and then it is passed through t modulator which is the reverse process of modulation where the added carrier is going to be removed and the output of t modulator will be our original message signal so this original message signal which is newly formed signal in order to restore their amplitudes we are going to pass it through audio amplifier and power amplifier and then it is passed through the output transducer because we required the message signal in original form so output transducer converts electrical form of the signal into original non electrical form and that message signal is given to the destination circuit that is to the uh, intended output so these are the basic elements of any communication system